Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1835 Part 2. And in this video, we want to see how to do Excel lookup, not a column, but a row. Three examples. Under the last video, Koresh says, hey, that's an amazing video about looking up a column. But he says, I wish you'd extend it to show rows too. So that's what we're going to do. We have January to April. There's our lookup value. And we need to look up a particular row. We can use a new dynamic array function, choose rows. Last video, we used choose calls, the array. Comma, and I want to look up February, which is the second row, so that will work. But that formula right there, hard coded to 2, it's not linked to this cell, so when we change it, this will not update. Well, rather than hard coding a number into row num, we're going to use X match. That can look up an item, comma, within a range, and deliver the position row 1, 2, 3, or 4. So close, close. Enter, and when I change this to January, bam, that is updating. Now here's probably the best option, because it's the easiest to create, and it delivers a range object, which works in more places than the dynamic array delivered by Choose Rows and Filter. All we have to do for X lookup, there is the lookup value. We're going to find a row position here, comma, and in return array, if I enter just a column, then XLOOKUP returns a single item. But if I highlight multiple columns, when it finds the correct row position, it'll deliver all the columns. That formula will work. And when I change this to March, bam, it is updating. Now, what happens if you don't have Microsoft 365 with Choose Rows, XLOOKUP, and Filter? You use the old standby index. There's the array, comma. Row number, this is where we actually need to find a row number. We use the old school match. There's the lookup value, comma. Lookup array, it'll find the position. But unlike X match, we have to tell it to do exact match, which is not the default. So we put a 0, close. That gives us the row number, comma. And because we want all the columns, Last video, we put a 0 when we wanted all the rows. 0 works to get all the columns, but you can just also leave it out. Close parentheses, and that will work. And sure enough, of course, that is dynamic too. Microsoft 365 has filter, and there's the full array. And slightly different than XLOOKUP, we can't put a lookup value in a match column. We have to put include, which is a full range here. And then we have to do a logical test. Hey, are any of you equal to January? So this is a little bit more complicated to create, but it doesn't deliver a range, which is more convenient, like index and X lookup. But filter, when I hit Enter, that will work. And it is fully dynamic. Now, where do you use lookup a row in formulas? Well, there are a lot of formulas. One easy one, hey, I just want to add all the sales for March. And guess what? All of these work in the sum function. That sum function can deal with arrays and ranges. So each one of the formulas we saw in this video will work. Next video, we'll see a function that only handles ranges. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick. Thank <laughs> you.